Have a nice day, everyone. We will continue for aircraft maintenance manual. Short notes for the chapter 28, the fuel. There are two chapters for fuel and aircraft. The first one, the airframe fuel number 28 the other is the engine fuel chapter 73 now why do why we need fuel for aircraft we need the fuel for the engines and apu to operate the engines and apu why we need from the engine thrust the thrust power okay what kinds of the what the type of the fuel in this uh, the aircraft which had jet engines not piston just jet the fuel type Jet A or Jet A dash one. The properties here, the main property here, is the freezing, freezing degree. This Jet A, the freezing point, less than forty degrees centigrade, and this dash one, less than. 47 degree so the freezing is this degree centigrade why that because the aircraft when make take off and go to climb then cruise the temperature and the pressure of the environment decrease when the aircraft raise up the pressure decrease and the temperature decrease okay we go to the airframe fuel system we need some notes what about the tanks the tanks two main tanks in the wings and one in the center center tank under in the fuselage under the floor panels of the passenger cabin this is the center tank sometimes there are auxiliary center tank and in some aircrafts there are added tanks and the horizontal stabilizer okay so the storage here an airframe and airbus 320 family right and left inner outer and serge you can take a look here from the um, google Here is the tanks here, left wing, right wing, and the center tank here. Okay, here also. The left wing, the right wing, two tanks here, inner and outer. Okay. And some aircraft we can see here this is the stabilizer also i think in the boeing 767 I return to the, our subject in 7437 boeing we can take also 
the same thing, right wing and left wing and center tank. The same thing, but maybe one and two. Tank number one and tank number two and center tank. Okay. What about the distribution? It contains tubes, valves, okay, until reach the engine. We can take a look here. This is the distribution here. Bumps, valves, tubes, okay, until reach the engine. Return for S320. This is the distribution here. Also, bumps, valves until reach the engine. What about dump? What is the meaning of dump? Dump, which means I want to. through fuel from the tanks drain during flight and the new aircraft 737 and Airbus family 320 there are no dump system okay what about indication the indication which I need the fuel temperature in the tank and the quantity in each tank. So the temperature and the quantity. We can take a look here. This is for 737 quantity and temperature. And the Boeing may be clearer than that. And the Airbus, we can show that. Now look here for, uh, we can make here. This is this for engine. I want to the tanks, the fuel tanks. Here. Okay. When you go to the indicator indications, you will see the temperature of the fuel in the tanks and the quantity. What about fueling, refueling, and defueling? Refueling, which means add fuel to the aircraft. Caution here, don't make refueling when there are passengers on board the aircraft. This is dangerous. So, refuel first, then the passenger will go to the aircraft. Defueling, which means I want to get the fuel from the tanks drain the tanks from some drain some drain valves berging berging which means i didn't want any vapor or any thing of the fuel in the tanks this is dangerous procedure here the men or the men or the workers 
must be well trained and don't wear any type of clothes just from cotton don't wear rings or anything in the pockets any materials and must go follow the procedure and the maintenance manual water drain when the aircraft wait at night for more hours it needs to make drain water drain from the valves by the tools okay i think that is the short notes for the fuel system in the airframe only the other chapter in the engine fuel 73 and another time thank you very much and goodbye